Hi YouTube. This video is a remake of another video I had on my other channel, and it will teach you how to restore default DLL file icons back to their original. Now, before I explain anything, please uh, follow my steps. For Windows Vista or Windows 7 users, press on the start button and type in reg edit. R E G E D I T. Now, these steps will be in the description of my video, so if you don't get something, you can refer to them. So you'll be taken to this register editor once you've done that. Now for Windows XP users, um, you when you press on start, you'll have a run button somewhere here. You press on that, and a run a run search box will open up. All you do is you type in regedit in there, and uh, it'll take you to the same registry editor. What you do next is uh, you have to navigate to H key current user, um, and you press on. Uh, the arrow next to it, to the left, to open it up, to expand it. After you've done that, you press on software. By the way, you should expand this so that um, you can see the full names of the folders. Once you've expanded software, um, you go down and you look for Microsoft. And you expand that. Once you've found Microsoft and expanded it, go to find Windows. So scroll down and find Windows. Once you've expanded Windows, um, expand current version which is usually the one right under windows and uh, then you exp uh, expand explorer and then you expand file exts which stands for file extensions then you go down and you look for .dll or um, the, the file format that you uh, wish to fix now once you've done that um, you're ready to uh, watch this video. Now, a default DLL file icon has a blank piece of paper with some clockworks on top of it. Some people don't have this blank piece of paper with the clockworks on it. They uh, in turn have a notepad icon or a, an Adobe Reader icon or something like that. Now the reason that has happened is uh, because the file has been modified to open up with another program. Um, and this video will show you how to fix that. So if I uh, double click on um, this uh, tutorial.dll file, um, it will show me a caution that I'm attempting to open up a file uh, with extension dll. If I uh, ignore this message and open it with a list of in installed programs, and I chose notepad for example, um, it will open up a notepad and that will be the uh, default program to open up a dll file. If I double click on it, notepad will open it up. If I go back to this uh, registry editor and I refresh this page, um, automatically you see a new uh, folder being added, which is user choice. And well, well, what do you know? It sh it shows us that um, the default application that opens up DLL files are uh, sorry is Notepad.exe. Now, if I uh, went ahead and I tested this with um, say another program. Uh, say Adobe Acrobat 10 if I opened it up with that then if I went back to uh, this registry editor and I refreshed then it changes from notepad to Adobe Acrobat which is acrobat.exe now uh, this this is the reason why um, DLL files open up with specific programs um, if I went ahead and let, I tested it again, and I chose another default program, um, say, I don't know, uh, VLC Media Player, which is under Video LAN, VLC, um, then uh, DLL files will open up uh, with VLC Media Player. If I refresh this, then it shows VLC.exe. Now, if I went ahead and clicked on the Open With list, um, in this folder, then uh, it will show me the list of programs I use to open up a DLL file. And first of all, I tried Notepad, and then I tried Acrobat, and then I tried VLC, and it shows me the order by which the Open With list should show the programs. So C, which is, which represents VLC Media Player, um, is the one that opens up the DLL file by default. B opens up next. So if I right click open with B is on the list next which is acrobat.exe which is Adobe Acrobat 
and A, which is last, is Notepad, which is last on this list as well. Now, the reason, the way to solve this problem is to highlight everything beneath default, everything, so and delete it, so that you're only left with default in this in this folder. You should be left with nothing else, and you shouldn't touch default. When you, uh, the next step you need to take is to press on user choice and delete this whole folder. After you've done that, if I clicked on, if I double clicked on tutorial.dll, my old caution comes up. And if I right click and I press open with, then the caution comes up again. This means that it has been restored to default. Now if I close this, uh, registry editor, I move this back here, um, I don't see the results now, as many times as I refresh it doesn't come up, but if I held Control, Shift and Escape on my keyboard to open up Windows Task Manager, if I pressed on Processes, and I ended Explorer.exe, if I pressed on File, New Task, Run, and I typed in C, Windows, Explorer.exe, it shows me the blank piece of paper with the clockworks on it again. Now the problem has been solved. Thanks for watching, please like, comment and subscribe, and if you have any questions or comments you would like to post, please ask them or post them in the comments section below. I look at every single comment and I answer every single question. Um, and until next time, bye.